It's no secret that Dollar Tree carries these fabrics and they are so fun to craft with. They bring them every season. And we're gonna start with this tray. It's like a little serving plate. I'm gonna take it outside and splay it a few times with this Rustoleum white spray paint. Now I'm not worried about doing the way bottom because we're gonna cover that up. But we are going to let that dry and we're gonna start with this beautiful bike themed fabric. The colors are stunning. When the plate was dry, we're just gonna place it on top and I need to find something that I can use to give it the curve look. So I'm gonna use this microwave plate cover because it's really close in size. I'm gonna use my rotary cutter to cut up a piece of fabric large enough to cover the area. And then we are going to use that circular object and we're just going to just cut it very carefully around again to give it that nice round shape. If you can freehand it, go ahead. But I'm glad I found this because it really guided me. All right, so then we are going to just place that on top of the plate and we're just gonna hot glue it. Very simple, very easy, and it sticks really good. I did have to cut off a little bit from the top, so just do and cut as you need. These have wood beads I get on Amazon, and I do have them in my Amazon store if you want to check them out. They are linked in the description box. I'm going to place one in the center bottom, then one in each corner, and then we're just going to start adding one like halfway, halfway, you know what I mean, like in the middle of each bead, and that way they're going to be as evenly separated as possible. A little bit of hot glue goes a long way because it does um, stick to the fabric really good. Now we're just going to add some florals on the inside. Now this is where you can just do whatever you want. You can use this as a note holder. You can place whatever you want. I'm going to add florals because I just thought it would just look so nice with the design. And I'm going to stick it right inside and just keep it in the neutral colors because I want the fabric to be the star of the design. I'm going to keep adding. These are all from Dollar Tree and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can hang this. You can place them on a plate holder Whatever you want. What do you think of this one? Let me know. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take these red, white, and blue fabrics and we're just going to open them up. Now, I ended up not needing two of the red ones. One was sufficient. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to start cutting the fabric in strips. For the first one, I'm just going to fold it in like a third and then just cut them open and then cut them in strips. I did realize that they were a little too short. So I ended up then folding it instead of in threes, folding it in half and making the strips. So I'm just gonna have some strips that are a little shorter than others, but it worked out in the end. I'm gonna do the same thing to the blue fabric and we're just gonna cut them again a little longer. When it's all said and done, you should have a ton of strips just like this. Now, depending on how big your wreath form is, you're gonna need more or less. This wreath form I got at the Target dollar spot years ago. I still have it home and I'm just going to cover half of it or actually more than half in the red and then the smaller upper left hand corner side in the blue. We're going to create a patriotic wreath form. Now you can use whatever flag colors you want and you have. I think it'd be gorgeous in any colors. This is just to give you inspiration. You can also do it Christmassy themed or summer themed, whatever you want. So I'm just going to start tying all of the strips in between the boxwood. So not over the boxwood. We don't want to tie those. We're just going to separate and open the greenery picks and then add them to the actual stem. And then we're going to fix everything. So it's going to look messy, but I promise you it's going to work out. Once I have them all attached, I'm just going to start kind of like you see here, straightening it out and fanning out all those strips of fabric, making sure they're facing the right way. And it does take a little bit of time, but it's very, very enjoyable. I'm going to do the same thing on the red fabric and then I'm going to take the boxwood greenery and I'm going to make sure they're facing the right way and they're on top of the fabric and everything's looking nice and neat. Once you have everything where you want it, I'm going to trim it. You don't have to, but because some of them were a little longer than others, I just want to make sure everything's as close as possible, but I'm not looking for them to be exactly the same size. So I'm just going to keep trimming them until I like what I see. Now to hang it, you can leave it just as is without adding anything, or you can add a ribbon like I'm doing here. Just make a knot and then slide the knot towards the inside. But I think this wreath is absolutely stunning. Oh my word. I love the combination of greenery and fabric. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Wow. 
for this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are making a functional craft using poster board. This is just pieces that I had left over and I'm gonna cut a piece that are three inches long, I'm sorry, wide, by about four inches or four and a half inches long. I'm gonna then mark about four inches from the long side and make a line on both sides. Then I'm gonna mark about half an inch on the other side. We're gonna make a smaller rectangle inside the rectangle. Then we're going to take my X-Acto knife and we're going to open it up. We're creating a little window. So this is going to be a luggage tag. I have never made a luggage tag, but I am hooked. I think this will make such a cute gift for someone who loves to travel. So cute. All right, so here we are. Now we have the front part of the tag, and this is the fabric that we're going to use. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my. All right, so we're going to add one layer of Mod Podge on one side of the front tag and then as well as the back tag. Now, if you've seen me for a while or you've seen recent videos, I just learned this technique with Mod Podge. You just want to apply a medium to thin layer of Mod Podge. Let it dry. All right, so this is the fabric. We're going to cut a little bit of it, ironed it, and then we're just going to place it on the dry Mod Podge with a little bit of parchment paper on top, and then you just want to iron it on. It does not take long. Remove everything, and it's nicely stuck. We're going to cut off the excess from the edges, but we're going to leave one of the ends with the fabric, okay? Because then we are going to add a little hot glue and we're going to create a little seam. Now looking back, I could have just seamed everything and it would have looked a little cleaner. So whenever I do this again, I'm just going to do the seam on all the edges. So using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut off the middle portion and then we're going to do the same thing with the back of the tag. Place the parchment paper on top of the fabric, iron it, and then I'm going to cut off the edges and leave one side with the fabric so that we can create a seam. Unless you want to do seam all over, then just cut off enough to where you have a small little seam. This is a plastic baggie that I had left over from another project. I'm just going to cut off a piece that's going to fit inside and we're going to hot glue it. Now be careful because it kind of gets soft and hot. So just be very careful. Hot glued it in place and now we're going to place the top tag on top of the back portion just like that and then of course don't hot glue that end with the seam because that's where we're going to insert the little card so we're creating a little tag card a little smaller than the size of the tag and then we are going to just write name address phone and then make lines and this is what we're going to insert inside the luggage tag how adorable now of course we want to have something to hang it from so we're going to poke a hole you see my crocodile I'm going to thread some blue ribbon and I'm just going to knot it. And this is what you can use to tie around your luggage. How fun is this? It's such a great gift idea. Oh, you can make these for Christmas and use them as the gift tags, which can also then be luggage tags. How fun. Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're gonna take the leftover fabric and we're gonna cut strips. Now these strips are gonna be tiny. Now I'm also gonna add some uh, other fabrics that I had left over from other seasons and we're just gonna make a fun pom-pom. We're just gonna cut them in thin strips. These are about maybe half an inch, give or take, and just gonna cut them and cut them until you have a whole ton. I can't, I don't know how many we had. I didn't count, <laughs> but it was a ton. So I'm just gonna wrap them around my four fingers. Now my four fingers are a little spread wide. So use your deter, whatever you want. You can, whatever size you want, just roll it around. And then once you have them rolled, you just wanna take one of the longer strips and then we're gonna tie it around the center. If you created a pom-pom with like yarn, same concept except with fabric. So we're just gonna tie it around right in the center and make a very simple knot just like this. We're creating a pom-pom for a pen. Now, this will be a great craft you can make with your kiddos. Once it's tightened in the center, we're going to cut open all the loops using my scissors. Same thing on the other side. And then you just want to fluff it. Once all the loops are cut, fluff, fluff, fluff until you kind of have everything loose falling off. And then you just want to take it and just kind of trim off anything that's uneven so you have a nice rounded pom-pom. Then we're going to take a pen. Now, make sure that the pen is not the kind that you click, but they have a cap. And then you just want to place a little bit of glue right there on the inside. Hold the pen until it hardens. And then take the leftover one that you used to tie it. And then just wrap it around the top. Now I am inserting it inside the little clip that you can put paper on. That way it's not going to go anywhere. And just secure it with a little bit of hot glue. And it tightens really well. 
And now you have a fun little pom-pom you can use to write notes or just keep on your desk, wherever you want. How fun. You can then use this and make this for any season. But what do you think of this one? Let me know down in the comments. I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.